Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money and you wanna know what the most undervalued assets uh, are in the world, uh, this is the channel for you. Click subscribe. Uh, I talk a lot about commodities and commodity investing because that's where the value is right now. And if that's something that interests you, uh, obviously share it with your friends, uh, share these clips with, with people uh, because it may change your paradigm of how you invest. And this is, I think, some of the largest asymmetric bets that I can find in the world. Uh, again, I personally invest in this stuff myself. I've got skin in the game, and these are my opinions. Uh, this is just financial education. It's not advice. Today, I'm going to go over pattern recognition. I'm going to give you my kind of <clears throat> opinion on what I look for in markets. So let's jump in. I call this pattern recognition. And... I started with no previous uh, knowledge of, of, we'll call it investing or business. Uh, and what I do is I'm more from the mathematical engineering side. Uh, so I look for patterns. Uh, patterns, so investing is about pattern recognition for the most part. Uh, basic IQ, IQ tests of rec, uh, recognizing patterns and trends over time, uh, that's kind of how I view it. It's almost like an IQ test. Uh, so I, I like playing games and puzzles uh, and, and looking at at recognizing patterns and whatnot. It's about adding up the probabilities of many patterns and telling a story with it. Uh, the way, the why behind it may perhaps never be discovered. And, and people always put whys. Like, this is why it went up. It's like, you don't know that. They don't know that. They just make it up. It's just lies. Many many may assign a, a why, but not know if it's actually true. And you, you see that on television all the time. They don't actually know. They're just making it up. Uh, unless it's a very large movement with it right after an announcement. That's about the only time you'll know. Uh, but most of the time, 90% of the time, they don't know what's actually causing the movements. It's a myth that is spread amongst everyone uh, of why something moves or correlated. What you wanna do is you wanna take the data and then you look for patterns over time. Uh, if the data tells you what, what's right or what's wrong or the correlations between things like the R squared value of, of 80%, uh, so it's got an 80% correlation of whatever you're trying to <clears throat> Correlate, uh, that's what we're looking for. So uh, this is the, again, I just want, I keep showing this. Um, if we're looking for patterns and we're looking for inflation, so it says correlation of real and financial assets with inflation since 1950, and I keep showing this chart to a lot of people. Real assets and commodities and platinum should outperform gold. So when we, when we price assets against assets, we should see an outperformance of commodities and platinum in an inflationary environment. If we see that outperformance, if we see the ratios moving against each other in certain ways, it's telling us that inflation's coming. It's telling us that things are set in motion. The trend, the momentum, it's all in motion, and we should be investing certain ways based off of those trends. It's just fitting puzzles together by using data. So, uh, what we look at here is the gold to oil ratio. And what you notice is that this thing's been moving up and down throughout the channel. Uh, it went all the way down to, this was like a five at the end of the last commodity bull market down here. Then we went up to an uptrend channel because the commodities were, uh, all the inventories were filled with the commodities, the prices had collapsed, and real estate was, it, it, the driver of it, real estate, which is the driver of inflation, was in a recession and recovery phase. So it was a recession here and then a recovery phase all throughout here. And we went into real estate, went into a um, an expansion phase around this time in here, but we had COVID. So this was coming down, it was about to kind of break to the downside and we had COVID that shot this thing to the upside. <clears throat> COVID was a short-term uh, response. It was a very short duration shutdown uh, and it screwed it screwed up oil and shot it above 100 barrels to one gold one ounce gold uh, ratio, which this right here is like the opportunity of a lifetime to buy oil. It, but the 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 trend was, I'd say about maybe 60. <clears throat> that was going to be the high side, but we came right back down because of structural deficits in the market, and we're all the way back down to 26.21. I have a feeling this is going to break to the downside, signaling that we've got inflation, signaling that. Um, oil is going to outperform gold. And why do I think that? Because when we look at other sectors that I'm going to show you going forward, uh, all the other commodities are breaking to the downside. So there's no reason to not believe that crude oil would not break to the downside. So this is gold to copper ratio. We've got 
copper breaking to the downside here it broke out of its long-term downtrend just like in the last commodity bull market when it was way low below 200 i have a feeling that this is going to eventually work its way down over the next few years down to below 200 probably maybe even down below 100 it's going to go way down there because we're going to dump a whole bunch of demand on copper and copper is already in a deficit a market balance deficit so copper is an excellent opportunity for investment uh, because one it's cheap two it's it's in motion it's got momentum uh, to be outperforming gold and and also keep in mind gold is a moving target it's not a it's not a fixed rate target gold's going to go back up eventually and copper's going to outperform i think uh gold over over the long term so we've got the moving target of gold going up and copper going up even faster because of inflation and the supply demand balance this is gold versus platinum platinum broke to the downside uh, so that means that platinum is outperforming gold and i see this continuing to go to the downside <clears throat> this was the last bull market back here it's going to go way down here i think we, this could go way low because of all the uses of platinum and the market deficits in platinum i think are going to be very large market deficits five ten years in the future it's also one of the best uh metals for especially precious metals for uh protection against inflation this is the crb commodity index versus gold and what i'm expecting to see is that commodities will eventually outperform gold uh, over the very long term we're starting to see platinum and and copper outperform it broke they broke their downtrend those are the first to typically break then the commodity sector will just get pulled up massively so uh commodities in relationship to gold commodities will outperform gold in an inflationary environment and i think that's what we're going to see going forward this is the co uh, commodity to dow jones you can see the commodity broke out of this big long downtrend uh line this is a big downtrend it broke to the upside it usually it goes back a little bit back test and then we're going to see this thing rocket launch against stocks that's my guess commodities will vastly outperform stocks and when looking at this you know keep in mind we're at 0 0.0059 <clears throat> 0 0.0059 is like down here <laughs> it's it's never been this cheap in the history of of tracking this it means that commodities have never been this cheap in relationship to stocks so what's going to happen is this is going to probably go to the opposite side and overshoot and we maybe we'll hit, hit even a 10 up here which means that i mean that's like a 20 fold increase for commodities and we're probably going to see massive inflation uh, is, is my guess and this is the dollar to swiss franc just to show you uh currencies this was the last commodity bull market was from about 2000 here <clears throat> all the way down here this was the top in gold in 2011 but uh when this thing uh when do when the dollar underperforms the swiss franc or when the swiss franc outperforms the dollar it goes down this way and that is a bull market for commodities we've got that same big trend line break of the dollar to swiss franc breaking to the downside signaling that the dollar is weaker than the swiss franc and i think this is going to continue to come on down uh, over the next five to ten years maybe even longer than that so we'll see what happens in the length but this is stuff that that i continually continually monitor uh, to see the relative performance and what's outperforming what to get those general trends and what has momentum this is the investments that i like physical platinum and silver i like the base metals like nickel copper tin there are, there are a lot of a lot of different base metals uh, royalty companies i definitely like royalty companies either in precious metals or base metals uh, i like energy companies especially in uranium oil and gas natural gas uh, i like real estate home building companies are going to be great during this um, and then agriculture companies are going to do fantastic so these are the investments that i think will do incredibly well and if you guys want to know particular names uh, subscribe to the channel so subscribe to the channel to see technical analysis of companies of all of the above sectors uh, i also go over each sector a bit about various information on the channel i also let everyone know when i'm buying companies to to see what i'm doing if you guys are interested in that uh, to make whatever decisions that you guys want again i don't give financial advice this is just uh, financial education and giving you guys <clears throat> information to make informed decisions about your investments ultimately it's your decision on what you want to do uh, but commodities uh that <laughs> in terms of in terms of looking at history all you have to do is correlate these things together it's basically dollar down real estate going up those two things are correlated together 
they're correlated at like 100%. So real estate going up is correlated with the dollar going down. Then you're gonna see yields going up, which they are, uh, is correlated to inflation. Because people, when you have a real negative rate, they're gonna sell their bonds. And that will force people, uh, it'll force a rotation of money and, and increase interest rates going up uh, because of the real negative rate. Then you're gonna see dollar weakness against other currencies, I showed you that. Then you're going to see ratios, which is assets versus assets. You want to you want to invest in the undervalued asset. And what I'm showing you is that commodities are incredibly, incredibly, never been this cheap, undervalued. So the opportunity is absolutely large. You haven't missed anything. And what I'm doing is I'm continuing to cost average into positions that I think will do well over this next commodity bull market. You can you, you saw my investments on a couple slides ago of what I think is going to perform well. And that's where I'm putting my money, where my mouth is. So uh, if you guys like this content, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave comments and questions below if you have anything. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.